Hi, good evening. My name is Richard Davis, and I will be talking about the five components of health-related fitness. The five components of health-related fitness are cardiorespiratory endurance, muscular endurance, muscular strength, body composition, and flexibility. Understanding these health-related fitnesses, it can increase the ability to perform everyday activities, can reduce the risk of chronic disease, and it can just increase your overall health. I performed three health-related fitness assessments, which the first one was called the YMCA three-minute step test. For this test, you do 24 steps per minute for a three-minute period. Then after these three minutes, you proceed to sit down immediately after within five seconds, and then you analyze your heart rate for one minute. This exercise analyzes your cardiorespiratory endurance. The second test I did was called the sit and reach test, which this test for your flexibility. For this test, you sit down, legs straight out with slight bend in your knees. You then put them up against the box and you try to get as far forward as you can whilst pushing a slider, which measures how far you reached in inches. The last test that I did, it was called the body composition assessment and the waist hip ratio. For this assessment, you get your weight in kilograms. You then divide your height by your height in meters squared. Once you get the answer, then you classify the person depending on their BMI, which you get from dividing those two numbers. Another one I did, it was called the waist to hip ratio, in which you divide the waist measurement by the hip measurement. In this test, a higher rate ratio shows that you have more fat around your waist, and more fat around your waist can lead to risk, higher risk of chronic disease. Results from these tests I would hope shine light on our truth because one stage of behavioral change is denial and pre-contemplation, meaning that the person first denies that they have a problem and they won't listen to anybody, nor will they listen to themselves. And so with this and them doing the assessment, I would hope that this will change their mind and possibly allow them into the second part of the phase, which is called contemplation, meaning they will do the change and they acknowledge the change and they will start to change. And so with the information that we gain from these assessments, we can use the information and it would hopefully encourage people to take their health more seriously. And so that they will, other people will start doing these assessments and seeing whether or not they're actually healthy as they may think they are. And so we can use the information also so that we can change people's daily habits and they become more healthy than they already are. I believe that these assessments can help other people understand the importance of physical activity and can hopefully in a way in that they will understand that though you've gone this far with bad health, it's not too late to change that and it's not too late to get better physical activity. And so after they get the results of these, I hope hope it'll help them recognize that they do need help. With my cultural background, Hispanics consider working as a way of them getting in their physical activity. And most my, most Hispanics that I know of, they do, they're builders or they are blue collar workers. And so they use labor as work. And so also having some African descent in me, the way we use our, the way we use incorporate physical activity is through sports and so that allow us to get us to college and earn a degree and things like that. And my results, they did affect me a little bit because I saw my flexibility wasn't as great as I thought it would be. And so now I'm incorporating some stretching and more flexibility things in my workout so that way I can increase my flexibility. There are some results that can affect us, I believe, to reaching our SMART goal. And one of these could be that Maybe somebody sees that they are in decent or pretty good shape. And so then they start slacking a little bit and they start to eat bad and they just start developing more or worse habits. Also, it could be, I think that if someone does these results and they aren't physically fit and they don't really have that much good health, I think that if they do these assessments, it can also lead them into maybe getting worse, maybe into depression or something like that. 
And so thank you for listening to what I have to say. And without being said, will you join me to see your level of health-related fitness? Thank you.